New research threatens to make Britain's existential battle with its teeth even worse. The British Dental Journal reported this month that Brits have worse gums today than they did in Roman Britain 1,800 years ago. Examining a Roman-era burial ground, researchers found that only 5% of the remains showed signs of moderate to severe gum disease. In modern Britain, that rate is 15 to 30 percent. Given the advent of fluoride toothpaste and floss, how can that be? Did our ancestors have better teeth than us? In this case, researchers said the prevalence of smoking and diabetes in modern Great Britain may explain the disparity. And it's worth noting the Roman British didn't have perfect teeth. Up to 50 percent showed signs of tooth decay, thanks to a diet full of grains and cereals. But taking a longer view, our earliest ancestors did enjoy better dental health than us. Fossil records suggest few earlier hunter-gatherers had significant tooth decay. Many studies trace the turning point to the rise of modern agriculture about 10,000 years ago. As farming spread, hundreds of bacteria in our mouth began to shift as well, with some species feeding on leftovers of the new carbohydrate-rich diet stuck in our teeth. The bacteria emit tooth-decaying acids as waste. A 2012 study even argued one such strain, Streptococcus mutans, evolved specifically to exploit the change in human diets. Others are reluctant to blame the rise of agriculture altogether. A study from earlier this year showed a population in Morocco 15,000 years ago had pervasive tooth decay. But researchers found locals ate a diet rich in acorns, wild oats, and other carb-rich foods, leading to tooth decay. Whereas researchers estimate 0 to 14 percent of early hunter-gatherers typically had cavities, it appears about 48 percent of early farmers did. Today, up to 92 percent of American adults ages 20 to 64 have had cavities. Given this trend, post-industrial diets packed with sugar and carbs mean our teeth would be historically ravaged without modern dentistry. So, as bad as our teeth often are now, it could be much worse, even for the Brits.